here from Operation Contain the Rain. This is the second year LGP group. They've been running for two years now, and they're working on water conservation issues by improving the aquaponics system at the Whitney Young High School Greenhouse. Please welcome Contain the Rain. Hi, my name is Charles. I am a returning student. I go to Whitney Young. My name is Carl. I am also a returning student, and I also go to Whitney Young. My name is Tony. I am a first-year student, but, and I also go to Whitney Young. Um, so our mentors are Amanda and Neil, and Amanda is a chemist, and Neil is a chemical engineer. So the problem that we're trying to address is there's a whole ton of rainwater in Chicago. Um, I don't know how many of you had to deal with uh, any flooding after those rains, but that's the kind of thing that we're trying to get rid of, ultimately. Um, and another thing we noticed uh, when we were looking at this is that there are a lot of food deserts in Chicago. So what you can do with those two things is gardens need water. So if you make community gardens or things like that, if you can create an environment for that, then you eliminate those two problems while trying to solve really one problem. Um, so what we're doing is we're designing a paradigm solution that addresses that and other people will be able to reproduce this in the future and it'll be kind of a, a, a building effect that more people just build off of what we did. Um, so what we learned last year is you absolutely have to plan. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't get away with just uh, jumping into the project, which is the fun thing to do. Um, and so what we've done this year is we planned for designing a water collection system on our, the greenhouse at our school. And so a really big part of our LGP this year was working in our microbiology class, which both Tony and I are a part of. And this is not your conventional science class. It's not your average science class. It's very different. It's actually self-led student research projects where each student picks a topic that they're interested in, and we work on this project for the entire year, and we present kind of like a presentation to the entire class at the end of each semester. And so because this class is research-based, we need a lot of materials. And one thing that our teacher did was win the Oppenheimer Grant, which is a grant that uh, is awarded to science teachers or teachers in general every year for funding for their class that they don't normally have. And so we're going to be presenting again um, further along in our project on June 6th to this organization to prove uh, just what we did with their money. Uh, so both Tony and I worked on two different sections of the project. Tony will talk about his later. But my end part was more on the physical aspects of the greenhouse. Uh, because during the summer, the greenhouse is very hot, and it requires a lot of water uh, to water the plants in there, otherwise they die. So on your average hot summer day where it's over 100 degrees in the greenhouse, um, students actually have to come out and they have to pull out the hose and then drag it around for like, I don't know, 20, 30 feet and manually water the plants. And so um, the purpose of our project was aiming to make getting water to the plants easier. And so we designed and prototyped a do-it-yourself rainwater collection system on the roof of the greenhouse, which would then lead to a do-it-yourself filtration system, which is mainly filled with activated carbon, which should help uh, take out a lot of the impurities in the rainwater. And, you know, rainwater is not really that clean. Okay, so an aquaponics system ideally is supposed to be a self-sustaining environment in itself, but we need to be able to um, kind of regulate it ourselves because, I mean, it's not in an ideal environment. So we need to regulate the pH of the water circulating through the greenhouse, um, the reservoir level, temperature, and ion concentration to keep the fish alive. And uh, what, what we're doing, what I'm doing to tackle this problem is creating a program with Arduino, which is a microprocessor that we can use to regulate all of these things. And so what I've been doing in class, along with another classmate of ours who will be continuing this project, um, is we've been learning to code using the Arduino, and the Arduino uses simple C language, so it's not that difficult. And uh, Charles is then going to implement this project. So as for our next steps, Tony is going to finish putting together the program uh, that he and another classmate has been working on. 
Um, I'm going to be scaling up the prototype that we made for both the collection and the filtration system and fit it onto the greenhouse. Um, and I guess that would be what some people, or what some people may not say um, as success, but um, all things considered, uh, we had a very diverse group of people, um, where, and I mean that by saying people from all over the city of Chicago, people involved in a lot of different extracurricular events. And so um, people dropped out, and so we recruited people from our microbiology class to join our group, and so we would have enough hands to work on this project, and we wouldn't be going nuts working this on, yeah, you know what I mean. So I guess what we learned this year is that despite planning, we still have to uh, build things, and building things takes a lot of time, no matter how, how much you try to make it take less time. Um, and so the next, the next thing we learned um, is that with such a diverse group of people, you're always going to have people that have other commitments. And you just have to keep on working. Even if they disappear for a while or even forever, you have to keep on going. <laughs> so I think that's pretty important. So uh, another one of our biggest issues was actually funding. We didn't have much funding to continue to grow. Uh, I mean, to continue this. Uh, going and uh, recently we've uh, we've been awarded with a grant from our school as well about eight hundred sixty six dollars to put into this project so it can continue on into next year as you can see that was very recent because this isn't on our PowerPoint I just found out, <laughs> I, I, I just found out yesterday uh, so there's that um, and so in the next couple of months before our June 6th other presentation where we have to prove to people what we did with their money. Um, we're going to have to implement this, our systems onto the greenhouse. And probably one of the most important things that we learned were working around roadblocks. Because uh, there are both roadblocks that are designed by people who are, have more power than you, and roadblocks by nature, which also has more power than you. Um, and so, due to the rainy weather, we haven't been really able to work outside, um, but lately, you know, 70 degrees next, 70 degrees next week, not 7, sorry, um, we can work on that outside and also working around the school's administration. Uh, we really learned how to, you know, make sacrifices uh, and also get to what we wanted to do. So that's it for our presentation. Uh, we'd like to thank Mari and Connie for being awesome and Neil and Amanda for sticking through us, sticking with us, not sticking through us, <laughs> sticking with us until the very end uh, because we are, well, we were a group of eight guys who all knew each other. It's very hard to deal with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.